Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your iPhone iPad Up Touch to the latest iOS. So let's just start off going into your settings. Now remember, it doesn't really matter what you guys have, iPhone iPad Up Touch, exact same instructions. So before we do anything, I always suggest to go into iCloud. That's our very first option up here where it's going to say maybe your name or your device's name and manually make that backup on iCloud. If you've got no more space on your iCloud, then use iTunes on your PC or Finder on your Mac in order to make that backup. And by the way, if you're having any problems with any of these updates, just plug it into your computer and use your computer in order to update. Anyways, right now we're just going to scroll down, go into general. The general second option will be software update. And from here, we should see this iOS 14.3, which is our latest one right now. Let's just press on download and install. It's going to ask us for a passcode if you have one. Once you put that in, we should see this terms and conditions. I agree on the bottom right hand side. Again, agree. And then it's going to start the download process. For some of you, you may only see install. That's OK. That means it already downloaded. It depends on your settings. Sometimes it downloads the update for you and all you guys have to do is just press on install. However, I always suggest to turn that off and turn automatic updates off. So that's on the bottom right here. You guys can see you can go into automatic updates. Make sure to turn that off because you don't want always your phone to do it for itself. You want to have full control of that because let's say you guys have automatic updates to turn on and it just updates by itself. It does that thing at nighttime. Once you wake up, your iPhone doesn't turn on for some reason and you have no idea what happened to it. Well, the update might have glitched out and that's why you guys have that. So that's why it's very important to do the update yourself. That way you know what happened and why it happened. You also know that you made a backup before running any updates. So that's why I always suggest to make that backup. Also, even if you do have more than 50% of your battery, I still recommend to go on Go ahead and hook it up to some electricity that way it's always charging and your iphone will not die now that's just in case the battery is not a hundred percent like it was when it was brand new same advice goes for an ipod touch or an ipad as of now if your iphone ipad up touch turns off during the downloading process no big deal we just download again however if it turns off or anything glitches throughout the installation process that's a problem that's when we're gonna have to restore your iphone ipad up touch and that's why we made that backup because restoring will delete everything from within it and we're going to start from factory reset so it's going to be exactly how you got it when it was brand new and that's the only way to fix it if something big happens like that glitching out when you're installing a new ios on it or an update on it now the download process how long does that take well it does depend on your internet speed but for most of you you're not gonna wait more than 12 minutes if you guys have slowish internet with faster internet, it should just be two to five minutes approximately. Meanwhile, this is happening. We can even go into learn more to check out what this update's all about. So right here, you guys can read everything that has to do with update, which does include some major things such as Apple Fitness Plus, the new AirPods Max, some privacy stuff, TV apps, no big deal. Then if you scroll down, you're going to see a lot of issues that this does fix. Anyways, for now, I'm just going to go back. And we're just gonna let this run for a few more minutes. So after just a few minutes, we should see this. And right now we can just tap on install now. Now our iPhone will restart. We're gonna see an Apple logo, a loading bar, and that's it. We just have to wait for it to do its thing. So we're just gonna tap on install now. It's gonna ask us for a passcode again, if you have one. And at this point in time, it's just gonna turn off and just wait for it. So just after a few short minutes, you will see this. That's it, just one Apple logo, loading bar, and then it's gonna do this. So that's maybe two or three minutes. All you guys had to wait for this to be done. It was pretty fast. Anyways, let's just scroll up. It will ask you for passcode again, if you have one in order to get in, and you're done with the update. How can you make sure the update actually went through? Well, you can always go into settings once again, general, software update, and check that you're up to date. Right now, it is up to date, iOS 14.3. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.